Welcome to Excel Dynamic Chart Series number 15. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my College website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Dynamic Chart Series 12 to 16. Hey, in this video here, we have some wrestling scores in an Excel 2007 table, or it could be in a 2003 list. That means it has dynamic ranges. And we want to extract the top 10 scores, which is easy enough. And then we want to extract the names. We want to then have this table be dynamic if we change any scores or if we add records to the bottom. And then we'll make a chart. The chart will always show us the top 10 wrestling scores. Um, we're going to go ahead and use the uh, ta 2007 table nomenclature to uh, d extract the top 10 we're going to use the large function the array i'm going to instead of highlighting this column i'm going to use table nomenclature now this table i used i created it just by using control t or control l in 2003 i went up to a design or the name uh, manager and you can find your name there it is i named it i clicked up here and named it uh, wt We'll use that table name in our formulas, table nomenclature, equals large WT. And to get a field, you type a square bracket, and then a list pops up. Here's the uh, wrestling score, so I'm going to double click wrestling score, and then close square brackets. You can see it uh, pops up blue, which means we got the right one. Now, as I uh, copy this, uh, formula down, I need the first largest, the second largest, the third largest, so I'll use rows, and I'm sitting in G8, so I'll do G dollar sign 8, the 8 is locked, G8, this 8 is not locked, so that rows will give us a 1, 2, 3 as we copy down, control enter, and I'm going to uh, click and drag this down. Wow, so there's some amazing top scores. The, the problem is, if we have any duplicates, which we do right here, we can't just do a straight lookup. So we're going to have to use an array formula. And my lookup function that I'm going to use is index. The array is going to be our table WT, square bracket. And now I need the name. So I'll double click names, close square bracket comma and the row number. This is the tricky part. We're going to have to use small if uh, row and count if all in one uh, section of the formula to create the right row numbers. Small function helps us deal with the duplicates. The array, we're going to say if, and we're going to need our uh, wrestling score, so wt square bracket and then double click my wrestling scores, close square bracket. If any of the values in that column are equal to one cell to my left, my arrow keys didn't work so I hit the F2 key, there it is, one cell to my left. If any of those are true, what do I want? I want row. And I'm going to select this same wrestling, uh, WT wrestling column. So we're looking through there all the rows from there, but that's not going to work, 8, 9, so we have to subtract from it, row 8, F4 to lock that one. That won't work either because 8 minus 8 is 0, so we add one back in. Close parentheses on the if. This first small will give us the trues and false, I mean the first part of the if gives us the trues and falses, and then it extracts from it the rows. The duplicates will give us multiple rows, close parentheses, that's the array. So it's an array of falses and row numbers. And which ones do we want? Comma. Now, if I can suspend this for just a moment. Down here, when we get to here and here, we need a way for the small to have a 1 here and then a 2 here to get the second uh, row number. So we're going to use count if one cell to my left, colon, G8, comma, one cell to my left, close parentheses. Now, what is this doing? We need to lock this one. 
Lock this one going down. See, it's an expandable range. When it hits that first 99.9, .9, it counts how many there are, one. When it expands down one row, it'll pick up the second 99.99 .99 and give us a two. So it's telling the small which one of the row numbers to ex uh, extract and deliver to the index. Close parentheses on the small. Our row number, that's that big construction for row number, close parentheses. And we control shift and enter. Double click and send it down. Now let's go ahead and uh, test it. So this uh, Herald was actually a 99.6. And there's Herald. And then we'll come down to the bottom and we'll add a couple new records. Tab and uh, Herald. Oops, this is 1 slash 28 slash 2010. Herald. I'm going to put a 101 tab just to bring them up to the top so we can test it. Another 1 slash 28 slash 2010. And this is Joe Jab. Joe Jab. And uh, Joe Jab got 105. Amazing. Control Enter. Control Home. OK, so it looks like our table is not only working dynamically from uh, extract the formula extracting, but also the dynamic range. I highlight this right here. I go up to Insert. I'm going to do a bar. Get rid of, uh, I could keep the uh, title up there. I'm not going to just because I have a small video. You can get rid of this. Control 1 on the bars. I'm going to say. Um, Gap width, make it a lot smaller. Fill, how about very? Right, uh, let's not do that because it doesn't have the option I want. Layout, data labels, go to mo um, how about inside end? Click on those. C no, those are fine. All right, so uh, now we have the values, dynamic. I scrunch this up. I may not be able to see it, but I want to see the. Okay, so now we have uh, this, these dynamic formulas linked to the dynamic chart. Uh, there you go. A big, a big uh, bunch of array formulas, table nomenclature, all sorts of hard Excel stuff. But uh, this table will, no matter what you start slapping into this table inside of it at the bottom, will always show you the top ten wrestler names and scores. We'll see you next trick.